One day, James took a goods train to the other railway. He was thrilled to be back on Main Line, and thanks to Edward's influence, he kept the trucks in order. They hardly muttered a word the whole journey. He arrived on time and was looking forward to a rest before going home. But his fireman was worried. You'll need more coal, he grumbled, but there's not a bunker in sight. We'll have to ask around. There must be coal somewhere, added the driver. I doubt we'll get much assistance, muttered James. As he moved through the yard, Diesels eyed him menacingly. James wasn't frightened, but he knew he'd have to swallow his pride and ask for help. Uh, excuse me? He called to a big blue diesel. Where might I find some coal? The diesel glanced at him. Shout origin? He asked unenthusiastically. Uh, yeah, replied James. My name is Clark Trap. The diesel suddenly chortled. I beg your pardon? Oh yes, I know you, chuckled the diesel. Claptrap, the pitiful thing that broke down with the express. Oh, and look, I even gave you a little goods train to make you feel useful. How touching. James was speechless. Run along back to your island of delusion. Lo, I feel the scrapyard would be more fitting. That's enough, Eddie. Ya. A shunter scuttled over. Your coaches are waiting. Get fueled and be off with ya. The big diesel harumphed. At least a modern engine will be pulling the express. I'll go and show your controller what he's missing. As he roared off. The shunter spoke. Ignore him. A bother to all of us. No bunkers or shoots here. We've no use for them, you see. Well, there's coal trucks at the back of the yard that you're welcome to. James whistled, Thank you! And set off, brooding over the other diesel's words. The big diesel was waiting for his driver to return. He was still thinking about James, and that's when he noticed the coal trucks. Let's see old Claptrap get home now, <laughs> he chuckled. When his driver returned, the diesel told him they were to bring the trucks to the station. The driver, unsuspecting, backed him down the siding. The diesel tried to slow down to couple to the trucks, but couldn't. I say, watch this, he yelped. The driver tried and tried, but the brakes didn't work. Suddenly, crash! At that moment, James appeared. As the dust settled, he couldn't help but laugh. The trucks, squashed against the buffers, were now in pieces. The diesel sat crooked, with lumps of coal piled around him. Well, well, remarked James. What have you got yourself into, Lumpy? Uh, uh, that's not my name, the diesel spluttered angrily. It is now, grunted the shunter, who'd been alerted by the commotion. Serves you right for being hard. Lumpy huffed and looked sulkily away. Couldn't have picked a better time for your tantrum, eh? Scolded the shunter. Your express to soda is due soon. And here you are, dirty and derailed. I'll take it, James offered. You? Scoffed Lumpy. Huh, I'd like to see you try. I will try, James snapped back. Which is more than I can say for you. Soon, everything was arranged. After James's tender was filled, he hurriedly backed onto the coaches. When the whistle blew, he was off. Come on, come on! He puffed eagerly. We're coming, don't fuss! We're coming, don't fuss! Answered the coaches. The train was soon coasting along the line. Admittedly, the coal was of poor quality. 
black smoke poured from James's funnel. The coaches were heavy too, and he was beginning to feel puffed. Won't give up, won't give up, he snorted. Presently, it grew harder for James to breathe. The fireman was concerned. Blast and coal's barely burning. We might be in trouble. Won't be beat. <coughs> Won't be beat. Be. James coughed determinedly. He summoned all the steam and strength he had. At long last, the big station appeared in the distance. With one final effort, James pulled them to the platform with a triumphant whistle. I've <coughs> done it! I've done it! He cried. You certainly have. Walking towards him was the fat controller. I've heard about all your ordeal on the other railway. I'm very proud of you, James. Would you like to pull the express again? I know the extra coaches complicate matters, but... Uh, no thank you, sir. James cut in. I don't need the express. The fat controller was stunned. I'm a mixed traffic engine. Coaches or trucks, what does it matter? I'll pull them all with ease. Go anywhere, do anything, that's me. The fat controller chuckled. Glad that James was back to his old self. James is a much happier engine now. Sometimes he misses the thrill of the express. But venturing to new parts of the island makes up for it. Besides, the passengers on the local trains always remark how smooth and smart he is. James can complain about that. And what about Lumpy? Well, you could say he's a different engine too. Much quieter and far less brash. His story had spread, and he dreaded going to Sodor. I thought you were modern, remarked Gorn slyly. Fancy using coal, do you? How aggressive! Lumpy grunted as he backed onto his train. Oh look! James smirked. I ain't giving you a little goods train so you can feel useful! How touching! The engines howled with laughter. Lumpy, feeling far from touched, rolled away. He never referred to James as Claptrap again.